Due to a viral outbreak, people are being transported to a safe place called Harmony. The buses stop before reaching the gate. A soldier checks the situation but gets bitten and turns into a zombie. Jack and Patrick manage to push the infected soldier off the bus. Jack retrieves a gun from a dead officer but has to shoot a reanimated soldier. More zombies approach, causing panic on the bus. Zombies enter the bus, biting people. Patrick tries to reach his wife, Emma, but is pushed off the bus by a zombie, which he kills by smashing its head against the bus. Emma, with her baby, hides from zombies in a jeep. A zombie attacks her, but Jack saves them. They discover Emma's been bitten when they see blood on the baby. Nine years later, Patrick hunts for food in a deserted city. He kills a horse and brings it home. Lou, their neighbor, tells Jack about it. As Patrick cooks the horse, Jack finds his canned beans are moldy. Jack finds a good can of food. Patrick tries to contact other survivors on the radio, but gets no response. He he watches Jack put Lou to bed and wishes her good night. The next morning, Jack scolds Lou for leaving her room without telling him. Lou tries to make breakfast, but Jack reminds her of the rules. Lou hides a cookie Jack gives her and asks for another. Patrick's dog barks, waking him up. Lou gives the dog a cookie and notices a hole it dug in the fence. Later, Jack teaches Lou multiplication. After that, he goes outside to shoot at empty cans while Lou plays with her dolls. Lou asks if she can try shooting, but he doesn't let her hold a gun. Lou says she's too old for dolls and asks Jack to play with her. While he's playing with Lou, Jack sees Patrick coming back from getting supplies, but he doesn't say hello. That night, Jack gives Lou a box with her mother's things in it. She asks him why, but before he can answer, she hears a birthday song on Patrick's PA system and realizes it's her birthday. Patrick has made a cake for Lou, but because he's not on good terms with Jack, he lets the dog eat it. Lou asks Jack what birthday parties were like before the virus. Jack says there were other kids at the parties, but Lou doesn't believe him because she's never seen other kids. Lou says she can't remember seeing her mom, so Jack tells her she was too young to remember. Lou asks if zombies are real, and Jack says they used to be, but they died from the cold. Lou sleeps well that night, but Jack stays awake because of the loud music from Patrick's speakers. Later, Lou wakes up from a bad dream. She hears the dog barking and sees a zombie outside the fence when she looks out the window. In the morning, Jack finds Lou hiding under the bed and not wanting to come out. When he goes under the bed with her, Lou tells him that she saw a monster last night. Jack thinks it was just a dream, but Lou says she saw the zombie after she woke up. Jack still doesn't believe Lou and tells her that all the zombies died from the cold. Later, Lou puts a toy by a hole in the fence, hoping it will stop monsters from getting in. When Patrick sees Lou by the fence, he realizes she's been giving his dog cookies and warns her that his dog could get sick. Jack comes out of the house and tells Patrick to stay away from Lou and not talk to her. He threatens to shoot Patrick's dog if it keeps barking, so Patrick tells it to be quiet. While looking for supplies in a warehouse, Patrick remembers being there with Emma. When he made a lot of noise, Emma told him to be quiet because the zombies would find them. Patrick questioned her if she had confessed the same to Jack when she was unfaithful to him. He spotted a doll that Lou might like and took it from the shelf. While exploring the warehouse, he stumbled upon the bloody remains of an animal. Suddenly, a zombie growled and chased him, forcing him and his dog to flee the warehouse. Once outside, Patrick quickly shut and locked the door, trapping the zombie inside. As he started his snowmobile, the zombie pounded against the door, trying to escape. On his journey home, Patrick kept checking behind to see if the zombie was following him. Unfortunately, he crashed his snowmobile into a fallen tree because he didn't see it in time. In the meantime, Jack takes it upon himself to teach Lou how to use a gun. Lou gets knocked back when she fires the gun, but she enjoys the experience. Patrick, who is still on the ground, is approached by a zombie. However, the zombie doesn't notice him because it seems to be blind. The zombie runs away after hearing a distant gunshot, prompting Patrick to chase it on his snowmobile. Back at the house, Jack spots a hare outside the fence and tries to shoot it, but before he can, he hears a gunshot and sees Patrick coming. Patrick instructs Jack to return to the house, then he runs over the zombie with his snowmobile, but falls off in the process. As Patrick tries to grab his weapon, the zombie attacks him. Lou urges Jack to shoot the zombie, but Jack tells her to go inside the house and lock the gate. While Patrick tries to fend off the zombie, Jack points his gun at the creature but hesitates to fire. The zombie eventually overpowers Patrick and bites him in the neck. The dog tries to attack the zombie, but the zombie subdues the dog and bites its neck. The zombie flees when Patrick manages to grab his gun and shoot it. Jack returns to the house, only to find that Lou is angry with him for not shooting the zombie before it killed the dog. Back outside, Patrick mourns his dog and reprimands him for trying to act brave. When he arrives home, he cleans his wound with alcohol and tries to end his life with a gunshot, but he can't do it. He collapses, recalling the time when Emma asked him to cut off her infected hand while Jack held her down. When Patrick wakes up, 
he hears someone trying to communicate via the radio. He responds and alerts the man that the zombies have returned. He mentions that he's infected because he was bitten earlier that day. However, the man suggests that he might not turn into a zombie since a lot of time has passed since the bite. Patrick promises to go out and kill the zombie, but another voice interrupts, arguing that the zombie isn't to blame for what happened to him. The voice then suggests that his neighbor should have assisted him. The next day, Jack secures the house, anticipating that Patrick will become a zombie. However, Lou insists that Patrick isn't infected and criticizes Jack for not trusting her when she told him about the creature she saw the previous night. Jack tries to soothe her by offering her two cookies, but Lou discloses that one of them was meant for the dog. Lou expresses her desire to pick flowers for her mom outside without needing permission, but Jack explains that it's not safe due to the return of the zombies. When Jack goes outside to gather some flowers, he finds a doll on the ground and realizes that Patrick had picked it up for Lou. That day, a voice on the radio begins to persuade Patrick to kill Jack. When Patrick refuses, the voice scolds him for feeling sorry for Jack while letting Emma die. That evening, Jack comes back and informs Lou that he could only find fake flowers. Lou places half of the flowers near her mother's photos. Then, she goes outside with a gun and slips through a hole in the fence to place the rest of the flowers on the dog's grave. Jack rushes outside when he sees her going towards the grave. As Lou is placing the flowers through the fence, a zombie comes near her. Lou attempts to shoot the creature, but it knocks the gun out of her hands. Jack jumps on the zombie and starts hitting it with his fists. When he pauses, the zombie scratches his chest with its claw, so Jack continues to fight the zombie until it stops moving. As Jack is looking after Lou, Patrick comes out and points a gun towards him, but he shoots at the zombie behind Jack instead. That night, when Jack doesn't find Lou in bed, he goes outside to search for her. A zombie suddenly attacks him, but it's chained to the ground and its arms have been severed. Patrick appears and reveals that the zombies seem to be evolving because they can heal their wounds and their skin is hard enough to withstand the cold. Patrick points out that they stand a chance against the zombies because the creatures are no longer infectious and have become blind. When Lou emerges from Patrick's house, Jack quickly takes her back home. Later, Lou reaches out to Patrick via walkie-talkie and invites him to join them for dinner the next night, to which Patrick happily agrees. To prepare for the dinner, Patrick shaves off his beard and cuts his hair. The following night, Patrick visits, bringing meat for Jack and Lou. Jack returns the doll to Patrick so he can give it to Lou himself. When Lou sees Patrick, she's surprised by his new look without the beard and long hair. During the meal, Lou plays with the laughing doll and asks Patrick how he knew she would like that kind of toy. Patrick explains that he thought she might like it because he enjoyed similar toys when he was a child. When Patrick shares his childhood experiences, Lou comments that he was fortunate to play with other kids and expresses her sadness that she can only play with dolls. After Lou goes to sleep, Patrick reveals his plan to repair the truck so they can leave, but Jack decides to stay despite Patrick's warning about the return of more zombies. Patrick argues that Jack has been so focused on survival that he's forgotten how to truly live. In response to Jack's question about why Patrick hasn't left, Patrick glances at Lou, hinting that he's staying for her. After Patrick leaves, Jack sits with Lou and remembers the day Emma died. He found Patrick at home, drunk, while the baby was crying. When Patrick asked about Emma, Jack, in anger, told him that he was responsible for her death. Jack took the baby and told Patrick that he was no longer Lou's father. That night, Lou had a bad dream. Jack thought she dreamt about monsters, but Lou said that Jack Jack had died in her dream, and she was alone. The next morning, Jack and Lou decided to leave with Patrick. They drove away from Harmony and stopped at a warehouse for supplies. Patrick remembered leaving Emma alone at the warehouse to drink out of jealousy towards Jack. As Emma cried in the truck, zombies attacked her. After getting supplies, they saw a woman in the distance. Patrick went to her, but she became hysterical, so he calmed her down. Instead of continuing their journey, they took the woman home. When the woman woke up, she told them that she and her family had locked themselves in their house during the zombie outbreak. After living with other survivors in the north for a year, the woman shares that she met a man and became pregnant, but he never knew he was going to be a father. They joined a group to travel to a valley, but a zombie attack killed everyone except her. Hearing a zombie howl, the woman shoots it with a revolver and warns Patrick that it's their way of communicating. Soon, they hear more zombies and quickly secure the house and prepare their weapons. When the zombies arrive, Jack hides Lou in the basement and tells her to be quiet. Lou encounters a zombie but stays silent to avoid detection. More creatures start breaking into the house. A zombie chases Jack upstairs, causing him to drop his gun while trying to escape. 
In the basement, Lou tricks a zombie into a trunk, using her doll and a lantern, then locks it inside. Jack shoots a zombie at the door, but runs out of bullets and stays quiet to avoid attracting another one. As Patrick fights a zombie, the woman plays loud music to confuse the creatures. Lou leaves the basement and tells Patrick about the monster, so he tells her to stay in the radio room. Lou hears a woman on the radio before the power goes out due to lack of fuel. The group realizes they're low on ammo, and the woman on the radio told Lou to go to Spring Falls. As the creatures break into the house, Patrick decides to distract the zombies to allow the others to escape. After saying goodbye to Lou, he lights a flare and takes Jack's shotgun. Outside, Patrick shoots at the zombies and runs towards gasoline barrels. A monster attacks him, and he ignites the gasoline, killing himself and the zombies. After escaping Harmony, Jack, Lou, and the woman stop to watch the sunrise. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.